Hey friends, it's Jess. Welcome back to Redhead Threads. Today I'm going to show you how I turned a suit jacket into a vest. Let's get started. So it is day 1,435,000 of the quarantine and if you're like me, you are probably cleaning out your closets and finding things that don't fit anymore, either because you stopped going to the gym or you've been stress eating in quarantine or just because, you know, the gremlins sneak into your closet at night and shrink your clothing because that's the thing, really. They, they sew your, your clothing smaller so that it doesn't fit, which is why you have to hire a seamstress like me or go out shopping for more clothes, but because we don't have stores right now, shopping for clothes is a little bit harder than usual. I don't know if you like to buy clothing online, sometimes people get lucky, sometimes they don't. I know I personally like to do a lot of my shopping in thrift stores. When I first started learning how to sew, that was actually how I really got started. Um, I would go to thrift stores and buy dresses that were a size or two too big or a shirt or something that I just really liked the fabric of and if you're just getting started sewing this is actually a really good way to learn because there's a low investment cost and low risk um, and you can buy a dress for you know ten dollars and hash it apart and completely screw around with it and sew it back together and if it works great and if not you're only out ten dollars as opposed to going to a fabric store and spending fifty dollars on fabric for a dress and having it not work. So I highly recommend once the thrift stores are open again, go thrift some things, get started sewing your own stuff. The jacket I'm going to be working on today, I actually got at a thrift store years ago, I think probably when I was in college. Um, and I love it dearly because it's a lovely sort of honey brown corduroy. And when I was teaching, because I used to be an English teacher, fun fact, um, when I was teaching my students called it my professor jacket. Um, all that was missing was the elbow pads. So I really like it, but unfortunately as the years have gone on, I have gotten wider. Anyways, I'm going to show you that jacket now. All right. So here she is. Everybody say hi, Gladys. Gladys is my mannequin. The jacket does not have a name, which is probably good because I'm about to cut it apart. Um, so one way that my body has changed the last couple of years, I've gotten more back muscle. I've gotten broader in the shoulders in a way, at least I must have. I call it my sewing muscles because I'm always hunched over my sewing machine. So I think I've just built up muscle back there. Um, and also the arms were like a little bit tight to begin with because I have, I have wider arms. Um, but now I really can't fit into it at all. Thank you Gladys. So yeah, the arms are very tight. And I feel like I'm going to hulk out of it. It's, ooh, yeah, that's, that just feels like that's going to rip across the back. I can't move in it at all. Um, so my plan for this, because I really like it and I want to still use it and I think I can um, I'm going to be cutting the arms off today and the shoulders and turning it into a vest and hopefully it still fits across the front but I might have to move the buttons as well so let's get started with that now fortunately this jacket doesn't have a lining so that does make my job today a lot easier I'm gonna start with seam ripping the sleeves out of the jacket and then kind of see what shape I want it to take from there
All right, so taking the arms off really fixed the fit issue. Go figure. And now I think I'm going to work on um, just the, the slope of the shoulders and figuring out where exactly I want them to fall. Um, and I'm gonna mark it out with some pins. I like where that is. I cut in around the shoulder a little bit and I'm going to narrow the shoulder straps. Um, instead of trying to match it on the other side right now, I think I'm going to cut it first and then flip it to the other side so I can make sure that I've got it exact. So I pinned what I cut from this side onto this side as a template, and now I can just cut out around it, get the exact same shape and size. There we go. All right, so both sides of her shoulders are now even and they have been cut. And I think all I'm gonna do for this gal is serge the edges, fold it under, stitch it down, nice and simple. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, at least not right now. And we'll finish it up.
right, that wraps up today's project. It's nothing too exciting, but hopefully it inspires you to go through your closet and maybe find something that you want to make over and get a few more miles out of. I know that I'm going to enjoy wearing this vest. It'll probably resurface in another video at some point. I have plans for a series of unfortunate events costume that will be coming later this year. So you'll probably see it again. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy friends. If you like this video and you wanna see more, like, share, subscribe, comment for more videos, and I will see you next time with my next sewing adventure. Bye. Here she is. This is Gladys. Everybody say hi. <laughs> Just, I can't, no. That's, don't do that. <laughs>